Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss why Rafal, being a 4.5 generation aircraft is as stealthy as a 5th generation fighter. There is a lot more to the idea of stealth than just not letting radar waves bounce back to the sender. Because of this, the Rafal and the F-22 are built on different ideas. Before you can tell if stealth works, you must know how it should. So it's important to remember how radar works, it sends out wave packets regularly while listening to see if any packets have been mirrored and sent back by an object. Then, we can figure out where it is and how fast it is moving by looking at the change in phase between the wave sent out and the wave that came back after reflection. There are a few different ways to get around a radar. The American doctrine is built on two ideas. The shape of the devices is meant to send radar waves in a direction that is different from the direction they are coming from. This way, few or no waves return to the radar, keeping it from finding the plane. The use of a special covering that soaks up waves, so the radar doesn't get any more waves. Today, American equipment works best with waves with a frequency between 9 and 10 GHz and pretty well with frequencies between 6 and 18 GHz. American devices are just as easy to see outside of this frequency range as devices of the same size that aren't protected. All radars that work in the VHF or UHF band, from 0.03 GHz to 3 GHz, can find an F-22 or an F-35. The world's civil air traffic control radars can at least partly pick up stealth planes. Even worse, mobile and other telecommunications signals can be used by passive radars, which only receive the waves and do not send them, to detect stealth aircraft. But the problem with the latter is that it is neither precise nor good for the long distances, so it is not an issue with the Americans. But, these factors help multi-layered radars like, for example, the S-400 to detect stealth aircraft. However, the French have a different idea for Raffles. Dassault chose not to make the Raffle a full-fledged stealth airplane to save money. However, the Raffle is made with a smaller radar cross-section or the RCS. The Raffle, while not a dedicated stealth aircraft, incorporates several ingenious design choices to minimize its radar signature. The features, including the small vertical stabilizer, reshaped fuselage, and strategically placed engine air inlets, all play a crucial role in deflecting radar waves and reducing the aircraft's overall RCS. The extensive use of composite materials is another key factor. These materials are lighter than traditional metals and possess radar-absorbing properties that further contribute to the ruffle stealthiness. Dassault likely keeps other classified features under wraps to maintain the Raffle's edge and radar evasion. These classified elements could involve specific radar absorbent coatings, internal shaping of components, or even active jamming systems. For stealth, Dassault engineers chose another method, which is to jam or fake all the frequencies, as it is not possible to avoid detection on all imaginable frequencies. Here is where French tongue twister Système de protection et de abitement de conduits de tir du raffle or in simple words Spectra comes into the picture. Spectra distorts all the radar waves, making it difficult for the radars to find it. Spectra is built on a set of sensors and jammers that cover the raffle 360 degrees. In simple words, the enemy will think they are picking up the echo of the wave sent, but it is actually a false echo sent back by the raffle emitter. This will confuse the enemy radar about Raffle's location. One should remember that the air-to-air -air missiles have weaker radars than the ground-based radars. Logically, they are at an even bigger disadvantage when facing Spectra. Spectra is a defensive aid system or DAS. Eurofighter uses Praetorian DAS, and F-35 uses the NAAQ-37. But Raffle heavily relies on this system. Spectra is 250 kilograms and costs a third of the price of a new Raffle. It is without question the most advanced DAS in the air right now, as it is regularly updated. The Raffle's approach to stealth, prioritizing cost-effectiveness while still achieving significant RCS reduction, has been quite successful. It allows the aircraft to operate with greater survivability in contested environments, making it a valuable asset for air forces worldwide. Do you think Raffles are as stealthy as the F-22s? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.